peace and welcome to a special episode of Oddly Familiar. Today we have the top 10 games that use the Wilhelm Scream. If you want to know all about the Wilhelm Scream, you can check our Behind the Bleeps and Bloops episode. But for now, I will just say that it's a popular sample of a scream that you probably have heard before. It has been used near a thousand times in random shows, movies, and games. From Star Wars to Duke Nukem. Stay tuned after the episode, we will announce the winning name of what we will call our fan base, as voted on by you, the viewer. Here is the Wilhelm Scream. Number 10, Medal of Honor Pacific Assault. Before Call of Duty, there was a different old school war game. This franchise dropped its first game on the PlayStation 1 in 1999 and Pacific Assault was released in 2004. It is primarily a first person shooter with the exception of one level in which the player flies. This may not have the best graphics for 2004, but they were decent. I think this one is more about the gameplay and less about the graphics and you can hear the Wilhelm scream in it at least once. Oh, let's go! Get on the damn boat! <laughs> Number 9, Dragon Age Origins. Developed by BioWare, it's quite a long game, with many details to keep you busy for many hours. You create your own character with many different options and selections. I would recommend playing it on the PC. The console versions suffer from graphics that do not look as good. This third person game was released in November of 2009 and it holds up pretty well. I really like medieval style games where it takes place in the dark ages with plenty of dragons, spells, elves and dwarves to fill out the world with a nice blend of races. <laughs> Number 8, Bionic Commando, Rearmed. I think this is an underrated game, it's not as bad as people make it out to be. The graphics are 3D while the gameplay is 2D. It has all of the same old mechanics plus a few new ones, you can change your weapon at any time with just the tap of a button. There are a few other upgrades and tweaks here and there that help keep the game more fast paced than the original. New boss battles and a new challenge room mode where it's basically an obstacle course and you need to make it through in a timely manner. A decent game, maybe not the best game ever made, but it was entertaining. The Wilhelm scream can be heard on the overhead stages near the end of the level, use a rocket launcher and aim for the guys on the bike. You, stop! Yes? Your pass. You're overdoing it with the passes. Complain to the Number 7, Witcher 3, Wild Hunt. Our lucky number 7 spot is held by Witcher 3, which was released in 2015 and it received many Game of the Year awards. As of June 2019, CD Projekt Red announced the Witcher series has sold over 40 million copies, with 20 million copies of that coming from just Witcher 3. A quite impressive feat, and they are in position to sell even more when the Nintendo Switch port is released. There is also a Netflix series coming, there is no exact date for when it will air, but for anyone into the Witcher series, this might be a good one for you. When it comes to the Wilhelm, you can sometimes hear it when you fall a good distance. Hey, what we about to do? I'm gonna get you close, and you're gonna go board that thing. Number 6, Grand Theft Auto 5. The first game that I owned on the PS4 was GTA 5 because it was one of the two games that I got with my console. I really like the graphics as well as all the different styles of gameplay. There are driving elements, or you could go scuba diving or base jumping, or you could just freely roam the open world if you felt like it. The freedom to do anything made it an appealing game. I was never really a fan of online modes, I just got trolled to death again and again, so that got pretty boring. For me, the story mode is where it's at. And during a mission, you can hear the Wilhelm scream when this henchman falls off the vehicle you are chasing. Get him off my ship! 
Number 5, Rayman Origins. The fourth installment in the Rayman series, the game was released in 2011 on multiple consoles, and it received widespread critical acclaim. GameSpot called Rayman Origins the best platformer of 2011, while IGN nominated it for the Game of the Year. Rayman Origins is a side-scrolling platformer the same style as the original Rayman game. It's playable with up to four local players who may drop in or out at any time. It's an impressive addition to the series, and you can hear the Wilhelm scream in this game when you find and kill the bathing chili pepper. <laughs> Unlucky number four, God of War 2. One of the best games in the series. Released in 2007 on multiple consoles, followed up by a few different re-releases. The God of War series is widely known and quite successful. It's a hack and slash action adventure game in which the player takes control of Kratos. I don't want to get into spoiler territory, so let's just say this game is recommended by multiple Uncanny X members, including Kratos himself. This is not the only God of War game that contains the Wilhelm Scream, as I have confirmed it in at least four games in the series. In God of War 2, you can hear it during a cutscene, when you see a guy take an arrow to the face. Number 3, Red Dead Redemption. The second installment of the Red Dead series. This game was released in May 2010. An excellent game, I really like the size of the world map, and I like open world games. A free roaming game like this allows you to go almost anywhere. Then to top it off, it's an Old West game. I like cowboy games when they are done properly. I would rather play Red Dead 2, but this one was maybe the best western game at the time of its release. And of course you can find the good old Wilhelm scream in it. Saints Row the Third. Saints Row was a series that used to be known as a GTA clone, but this changed with Saints Row 3. They take the series in a new direction, ditching serious tones and instead going wacky. Complete freedom to customize your character, ride, and gang to your liking. Take on a story mode that is complete with missions that are also totally insane. Do missions for your gang, partake in Japanese style game shows, or even shoot baddies with Mr. and Mrs. Santa. It's never boring. The entire game can be played co-op. Online is a huge plus to an already awesome game. It was recently ported to the Switch, and no matter how you play, Saints Row 3 is nothing but fun. Every man, woman, and tiger shot, your prize money goes up. But look out, no one likes it when you shoot a panel. And it's unethical. We have one honorable mention today, and it's GoldenEye 007 Reloaded. This game gets a bad rap, but it really isn't that bad. If you go into it with an open mind, don't expect the best FPS game ever made, but look forward to Bond characters and Bond music. I am a Bond fan, I have all 25 of the movies, and I look forward to number 26. If you play the game for fun, and as a Bond fan, then it's pretty good. I would have liked to see more variation in the stages, maybe some more driving stages mixed in, but otherwise it's a fun game, and a fun Bond experience. You will hear the Wilhelm scream in a certain cutscene. Just before Bond gets shot, he finds a way to escape, and the villain gives us the Wilhelm. We're gonna get out of this. Ah! Our top spot today, The Last of Us. The other game that came with my PS4. 
I already owned the game on the PS3 and I beat it multiple times. I would have liked a little bit more of an open world with more exploring, but for what it is, it's a good game. I played the game again on the PS4 and there wasn't a huge difference in the graphics, but I did notice some better lighting effects as well as more particles floating around in the air. The Wilhelm scream can be heard near the beginning of the game, but it goes by quickly, so pay attention. So there are the top 10 games that have the Wilhelm Scream. This will be one of our last videos on the Wilhelm Scream. Maybe in a while we will update the montage video with all the new submissions. If you haven't seen the montage, I'll leave a link at the end of the video. If you know any games that have the Wilhelm, feel free to let us know. And before we end this episode, we ask the viewers to help think of a name for our circle of people that like the oddly familiar series. We had many great submissions, but there can only be one. So we present to you the winner. And the winner is... The Oddly Familiars. After all is said and done, it's close to the series name and it fits perfectly. It kind of makes me think of a 1950s rock band, but to all of the Oddly Familiars, thank you for watching. I am ICC, the oddliest of the familiars. Peace.